a very ordinary radio mask to pocket then? Or is it a third switch? Normal gyro. Stabilize mode. Normal gyro. Gyro off. What alchemy is this? Stick around then and I'll show you what sorcery is involved. Regular viewers to the channel will know that I love my little Radio Master Pocket and wouldn't change it for the world. One thing I do find lacking occasionally though is it, it only has two three-way switches. Sometimes, especially if using a gyro, an extra three position switch would be a lifesaver. I like to keep these two three position switches for high, medium and low rates for my elevator and aileron control. One thing that I hardly ever use is this little rotary pot on the back here. Let's see then if we can repurpose this into an additional three-way switch. To that end, I've actually sourced another pocket radio, not wishing to mess around with my daily driver until I know that this mod works correctly. As I say, I can't be without this little guy. This then is the radio that we're going to mod. To that end, there are just four Allen headed screws here, I think, to take the back off. And of course, before doing anything, remove the batteries. Clearly, there will be some wires inside, so we have to go carefully as we remove this. Here we see inside the unit then, on the left hand side we have the momentary switch, but what we're interested in here is the potentiometer connection. So we have the uh, rotary pot there clearly, and a three-way connector handily labelled for us as 3.3 volts S1, which is obviously the signal input, and negative going to the pot, and that's all that we have. Not being of a trusting sort these days, I like to actually measure what everything is. To that end, I'm going to remove this connector using, I stress, a very old blunt pair of side cutters, which I find useful for removing these types of connectors, just getting it either side there and wiggling that out. Zero stress. With that removed then we can do some measurements on the potentiometer. Putting the meter on resistance then let's measure the outside two terminals of the potentiometer. And we can see it's a 10k more or less pot which is of no surprise. Now the little connector, if I just use a pin we'll put this in the bottom connection there and putting our meter on continuity this should be negative so I pick a ground and indeed it is I'm not concerned about the signal wire at this time but 3.3 volts let's check that against a reference on the motherboard no it appears not to be putting our meter back to ohms then and measuring the 3.3 on the board. We can see that there's actually 5.4k between what it claimed to be 3.3 volts and the real 3.3 volts. I guess then there is some sort of internal pull-up going on, which makes sense. Now we know what we actually have, how are we going to wire up our switch? This then is what we have, the S1 input going to the potentiometer, one side ground, and the other side going through about 5.5k ohms to 3.3 volts. What we need to do then is to change the S1 input onto a three position switch which has the center off. Our high position then 
S1 will go through the 5.5 as before to 3.3 volts and that will give us effectively 100%. On the lower position, clearly it's connected directly to ground, so that will be minus 100. In the middle, we can't just leave this floating. If it's floating, it won't give a proper level to the input. The traditional way to do that is via 10k to ground and 10k to plus 3.3. However, we know that we have 5.5k ohms already. Therefore, if we put a 4.7k resistor in series with that, that should make up our 10k, 10k, and then in the off position, if you will, this forms a voltage divider, and we should have half of the 3.3, 1.6 volts thereabouts. It's not critical, and that will give us our mid position, or zero, if you will. One additional thing is that rather than adding another resistor in, what I'm going to do is to repurpose the 10K pot just using the outer two parts, and that will form our 10K to ground. Let's see how that all works out. Here then we can see our switch wired up to just a little piece of what we call in the UK Vero board, or just prototyping board. The little switch that I'm using, a three-way center off, is sold by Radio Master as a replacement for the Zorro transmitter and uh, they're very small and neat. That is ideal for our purposes. As always, links in the description. The three terminals then, the centre terminal on the yellow wire, the black chosen to be negative clearly, and the positive there. I've just cut the signal wire and the nominally plus 3.3 off of there, and they're attached down there so that I can replace the potentiometer if I wanted to in the future. There then are two connections to either end of the 10k pot, making it just a fixed resistor, and that's all there is to it. In terms of where you're going to place the switch, you have many different choices. You could mount it on the top at the front. In my case, I've drilled an extra hole up here next to the vent for the transmitter module. Now that's going to sit in there. Your choice as to whether you have it moving forwards and backwards or sidey sidey. The question, of course, you're all asking is does it actually work? Welcome to HTX. Now I've mapped the switch SF to channel 5 here, and we can see that it's at plus 100, well, 99 right now, with the switch to the left. I put the switch to the center. And we don't get zero, we get minus 37. That will be the result of our voltage divider not being 100% accurate. We flip the switch the other way and we get minus 99. So our plus and minus is fine. In the middle there, we have minus 37, which may be okay for some gyros, but we would like it obviously to be zero. Are we going to mess around changing the resistors until it's zero? Well, no. As we're running Edge TX, there are some cunning tricks that we can do. Let's go ahead and do that. I've reassembled the radio then. As you can see, I wrapped the little circuit board in some heat shrink. Keep that from shorting out on anything. On the reverse here then, my little three-way switch. How then are we going to sort out our minus 37 problem then? Welcome to HTX. We can see it there then, the minus 37 that should be zero. The trick then is to set up a curve. We find our curves and select the first one available. Let's give it a name. We can leave it as a standard curve. 
However, the count, we only need three points. So we'll select that, move it down to three. We can leave that at smooth. Now the first point, minus 100, the Y needs to be minus 100 as well. Our second point, this is where we put our offset, if you will, on the Y. So we leave X at zero and we change Y. Now you may think that we're going to change Y to minus or even plus 37, but no. We're going to make it plus 60. The reason for that being that we're not actually dealing with a linear line, we are dealing with a curve. What we need then is a point that is going to intersect at minus 37 but pass through zero and that just turns out to be 60. Our third point then, x equals 100, but y also needs to equal 100. There then is our curve. Our next trick then is that in the mixes, we go down and edit our channel five and wind down until we find curve. And instead of having that as expo, we set it to custom, and then we can select the curve that we made called gyro. Coming out of that then, we go back to our home screen, and we have zero for channel five. That's because the switch is in the middle. Minus 99 when it's down, zero when it's in the middle, and plus 99 when it's all the way up. Result, finally, we have our three position switch that we can use for our gyro or indeed for any other function. Finally then, let's see everything come together. We look at our channel five on the display there at the moment at minus 99. Normal gyro. And the center zero. Stabilize mode. And 100, stabilize mode. Normal gyro, gyro off. So there is our working gyro function. Now for the doubting Thomases, we can see here my ailerons. Aileron rates 50%. Aileron low. So we can see that uh, there is still functioning three position switch there. Similarly, if I use the elevator. Elevator rates 50%. Elevator low. Elevator rates 50%. Elevator high. There we have it then, a perfectly functional third three position switch for the Radio Master Pocket. If you've managed to bear with me to the end, congratulations and many thanks for watching.